Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I'm here at the downtown Disney parking lot at Disneyland uh, because today is the first day that they are doing away with the free two-hour parking. Now you have to do $20 at a single establishment within downtown Disney to be able to park here for free. So as you can see, it's actually already helping. It's the afternoon. It's about three o'clock, and at this time, we would normally have a pretty full parking lot, but uh, because of this new rule, it, it's actually keeping people away. Even as close to just right over here, there's the security entrance, and right here, there are free parking spots. So again, the new rule is working. We'll see how, how this goes. I mean, I think it's a good change overall. I'm, I'm a little bit bummed out. I did use it occasionally, I'm not gonna lie, to come in for a few hours here and there, or even to go to Trader Sam's, so those days are over, but uh, you know, we'll see. We're gonna go in through security now, and I'm gonna go in, show you around downtown Disney, see what's new, do a couple fun things, and we're gonna get some lunch too, so come on and join me. All right, guys, first things first, I'm heading over to get some lunch at Jazz Kitchen. We made it. Time to get some grub. All right, guys, I got a nice table outside, and I just wanted to show you a real quick overview of the menu. I'm still thinking of what I want to get, but they have all types of New Orleans cuisine. It is really an authentic menu, so check it out. I know there's some of you out there that have an allergy, so they also have a, a allergy-specific menu. This is the lunch menu. Uh, it has all the egg allergy stuff and the dairy allergy, as well as the gluten allergy at the bottom, so pretty much everything you need. Okay, guys, the first thing I got is a drink. It's called a Cat 5 Hurricane. Sorry, I'm leaning forward. It's basically like uh, a little bit like a Mai Tai. It's uh, got different types of rum, orange juice, pineapple juice, grenadine, and then a float of Bacardi. So, here we go, let's try it. Ooh. Okay. I definitely taste the rum, but it is a very sweet drink. Uh, it doesn't taste super strong, but I'll have to tell you later uh, <laughs> when I know how it's affected me, but... Yeah, no, right now, seems kind of sweet for my liking. I wish it was slightly stronger, but yeah, I'll keep on going. So I'm sitting out here on the patio at Downtown Disney. I'm pretty much right on the cusp of just everybody walking by, so. One of the things that I like that they've changed recently is that, I don't know if you can hear it, there's kind of that jazzy flute music going on in the back. They used to have a lot of different, like, kind of Disney pop music, Disney Channel kids, you know, singing a lot of, frankly, bad music. And um, I'm really happy to hear that they've kind of just played, they, now they play some jazzy, some classic Disney tunes. Sort of like how Carthay Circle plays the jazzy kind of piano tunes over there. This is kind of a, a more upbeat, kind of adds a little elegance to this place rather than that just cheap pop tune sound, you know? I mean, so anyway, I'm glad it's happening. The menu I was showing you earlier is actually a lunch menu, so uh, some of the items will not be there, uh, or actually there will be more items for dinner, basically, is, is what it boils down to. I didn't show the kids' menu, but it has a lot of things on it, like chicken fingers and cheeseburgers, uh, pasta, so. All right, I'm super excited. The food came. I'm gonna try the boudin balls first. The boudin balls are like a pulled pork sort of thing with um, dirty rice. And then there's a Creole mustard aioli and a Tabasco pepper jam. So that sounds pretty good. Here we go. I'm gonna start with the aioli. Trying to do a nice... Mm. It has, it has a very New Orleans taste. It has that kind of almost tastes like you're biting into like sausage when you're when you're having like jambalaya or something like that. Uh, here's the cross section, sort of. So we can see if we can get that in there. Mo 
mostly pork, so that's pretty good. Now we're gonna try the jelly. The jelly is actually not very jelly-like. It's more like a, it almost seems like honey, the texture of honey. It's kind of weird. It doesn't seem to taste like much. I didn't really notice anything with the with the jelly. I might have to go in for another bite of that. That's a little strange. But yeah, overall has the Creole taste. Really good seasoning, nice and salty, not overly salty. I think I prefer the uh, aioli though, the mustard aioli. Not very mustardy either. So like, if you're too worried about it being like, oh, I don't like mustard. It's nothing like that, so overall, solid dish. All right, next up is the blackened chicken macaroni and cheese. It has applewood smoked bacon, caramelized onions, oven roasted tomatoes, baby arugula penne pasta, smoked gouda cream sauce, and a rosemary garlic ciabatta bread. That has a lot of things, I know, but it's actually fairly simple. We're gonna dig in and I'm gonna tell you what I think. There's like big chunks of chicken right off the bat. I also see like little bites of, it almost looks like sausage again, but couldn't be. I did that right off camera, didn't I? Wow, this is really packed with flavor. Wow, again, salty, but not too salty, which is like a good, that's like perfect right on the money. It's got a tiny hint of spice to it. You definitely taste the bacon. Uh, and then look at this. This is just like a gigantic piece of chicken. I mean, these there's just chicken throughout it. So I'm gonna get out of the way and maybe it'll focus on that. There we go. Really good. I don't even think I could eat that whole bite of chicken in one bite. I don't want to, that's for sure. Doesn't need any Parmesan cheese or anything else added to it. It's just as is good. Now, I would say the pasta's maybe a little bit overcooked. Just a slight bit, because I like that al dente. But it even has like little bits of spinach in it, I think. I'm not sure with that. That's probably spinach, right? Overall, this is like a home run though. I almost, try I almost forgot to try the ciabatta. Here we go. It's just like they grill it. You see that? You know, it's a little too grilled. Very dark. Burned. That's unfortunate because you can you can tell it's like quality. It's just a little bit like maybe a few seconds on the grill for too long. Let's try. I'm gonna try dipping it in the sauce, which I'm sorry I can't show you because I'm by myself. It's almost like a, almost like a little pizza now. We almost got a little pizza going on now. That's amazing. <laughs> it's too bad they only give you one piece of bread, but also, come on, it's like a whole dish of pasta. You don't need that much carbs, right? So. This is too much food for one person. What am I doing in my life? So, as far as the decor, we got a very New Orleans vibe, obviously. A lot of kind of balconies. There's beads hanging everywhere. There's kind of musical instruments represented. The bathrooms have some, you know, dragonflies in them and stuff. I'm not gonna show you that, but you get the picture. Uh, and uh, even in the bar at night, they'll play some music, some, some jazz music which, from New Orleans straight out there, so. Uh, and they have some pretty nice bands. As long as you're okay with a little bit of noise, the band is pretty great, so. Uh, overall, it's a beautiful restaurant with many different rooms in it, actually. And you'll have a different kind of atmosphere depending on where they seat you, so keep that in mind. There's mostly outdoor seating, so. But most of it is covered, too, so that's a good thing. I got the check. The damage has been done. And it's not bad, actually. Altogether, $38.79. I mean, that was way more food than I could have eaten. You could have done two people with that, no problem. 
So if you think about it, you know, a nice fine restaurant for about $20 a person and I got an alcoholic beverage too. Now granted, I did get a 20% discount with my annual pass. But uh, yeah, all I got was the boot and balls, the mac and cheese, and the Cat 5 Hurricane. And 38.79, nothing to complain about. Um, I love this place, so come and check it out. Well, that was lunch. And now I want to explore a little bit of downtown Disney. First, let's talk about the new Splitsville opening up. There we go, this is California's version of Splitsville being built right now on the old home of House of Blues, which has now moved across the street. So you can go check that out at Garden Walk. But yeah, if you look at the concept art, you can kind of see that the entrance is gonna be right here. You can see that they've already built the overhang. They have the overhang in preparation. And there, it looks like there may be kind of a secondary entrance over on the left here. I'm not 100% sure what that's gonna be. Seems like this whole main entrance here is gonna be just kind of a, an, an entryway, a, a welcoming way, if you will. Uh, and then the lanes will probably most mostly be upstairs. Uh, seems like there's also gonna be some tables up there too for dining, so that should be good. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say that they're thinking maybe a sushi restaurant might be going in over here where we're going to be losing Build-A-Bear ride makers and Chappelle hats. But uh, actually, if you think about it, Splitsville, not, not really, you know, authentic sushi, but it still is sushi. So, um, I don't know. Time will tell. And this Splitsville is definitely have a vibe from like old school, you know, 50s, 60s. And as you can see, they're already promoting it. They've got signs all along, some bowling and like I said, sushi anyone? It's kind of a weird thing too, this happened a while ago. But if you notice right here, there's a difference in the glass between this and this. When they started building, or when they started demolishing House of Blues, for whatever reason, I think Disney made them put these little tinted windows up so that uh, guests couldn't see as well into the construction yard when they were climbing the steps right there. As long as we were by Splitsville, I just wanted to go check in on the whole Yeti thing, the abominable snowman from uh, the Matterhorn over here at D Street. Remember in my last vlog, I went by there uh, in the morning, it was horrible. I went by there later in the afternoon, waited for about 15 minutes and got one. Uh, I just went to ask how many days they actually had him in stock for, and apparently it was just one day in a morning. So once they were gone, they're gone. They sold out instantly. I also found out, and if you go back and look at that video too, you can see it in that there was a little problem with the printing on it. Uh, so you can see that there's a different number on one side than there is on the other side. It's kind of funny, but it's too late now. Once you print that stuff and send it out the door, it's gone. So what are you going to do? So yeah, now D Street is back to selling all their regularly scheduled Star Wars stuff. They have a lot of fun stuff in there actually, so uh, I would go check it out. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of Star Wars stuff that you won't find anywhere else. Smoke on the street is that Vault 28 and Fossil right here next to D Street are going to be closing soon. Uh, that's going to make way for a new Star Wars VR experience apparently. Uh, that's some pretty crazy news. If you're ever looking for something interesting to do, you can always head by Marceline's Confectionery and watch them put together candy apples, among other things. They mostly are putting together candy apples, but uh, I've seen them do a couple other things in here. It's just fun to watch, that's for sure. And over on this side, we have the Minis. As you can see, she's putting all of the little dots on Minnie's skirt. And then after that, She's gonna put a bunch of uh, red sugar on there. Red sprinkles, she puts it on. And there you go, you got a mini candy apple right there. Pretty cool. There's a couple little Easter eggs at Marceline's Confectionery. The first one is pretty obvious, Marceline. That's actually Marceline, Missouri, the town that Main Street is based off of. So that's kind of cool. The other little Easter egg, hidden Mickey, if you will, is right here. A literal hidden Mickey, just right there in the name. Bet you didn't see that at first. 
Okay, it's mid-August and they have set up for, for Halloween already. I believe this is a new treat bag. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I like the design. Kind of into that anime, or that art style, I should say. I don't believe I've ever seen this either, but there you go, 48 days till Halloween. That's kind of cute. Mickey looking kind of evil there. I'm kind of into that. Now they have all these different little bags with different candies in them. This one has mini on it. I'm not really sure what those candies are. The one with Mickey has candy corn. And the Nightmare Before Christmas one has some kind of sugar bones in it. Kind of cool. Again, for people with allergies, they have all these snacks here. Uh, I recommend some of these things, especially these chocolate chip cookies. These are amazing. You would never know that there was no gluten in these cookies. Uh, and they are so good. Alright guys, the last thing I want to do right now is go and check out World of Disney and see if there's any fun new merchandise in there that I haven't seen yet. I've got a huge mug collection, so maybe I'll get a new mug today. We'll see. If you ever find yourself in World of Disney, be sure to check out all the cool illustrations that are on the wall, too. Even like stuff like the Ugly Duckling here, which, you know, a lot of people aren't even going to realize. I mean, this is a classic Disney animated film or animation, so, yeah. Just cool when you really, you know, stop and pay attention to the details. Got Bambi up there. Oh man, I love these statues. I, I think there's a couple new ones. I've never seen... This is a two-piece Beauty and the Beast. It's kind of interesting. I, I like his look. He's got the butterfly on his head. He's very confused. Uh, this is one of my favorite new ones, though. I mean, you can't deny how cool this is. Like, this is amazing. You can have this drunk pig pirate just in your house at all times. And the lantern lights up too. I'm not gonna touch it, but, but trust me, it does. All right, here's a bunch of new Halloween stuff. Never seen these things before. So this is the new art style for this year, I suppose. Here's a kid's shirt for 2017. That's kind of a cool shirt. Got a lot of little hidden pictures in that coffin. That's not a kid's shirt, I don't think. And then here's another shirt. This one says, I'm unique. It says it has an individual dying process. Eh, so unique, sure. But not that unique. This hat's kind of cool, though. I'm into the art style this year. I'm kind of into this jacket, too. It kind of have a weird um, Nightmare Before Christmas like Haunted Mansion vibe to it. That's kind of neat. And then I noticed this mug too. Look, he's all happy. Little happy little mug, right? Oh no, now he's evil and mean. And a couple ornaments, Minnie and Mickey. I like their costumes, I have to say. That'd be kind of cool if they looked like this this year. If they dressed up like this this year, I'd be happy. This is a cool room too, right? As you see, there's this big map in the middle of the room, and it's a big uh, postcard to it. So, if you look around, there are different characters in different places all around the world. Here we have them over in Hollywood, and over in Toontown here, and then over in New York, even with the Twin Towers still up there. And we even have Italy. And there's Mexico, and the Middle East, and then there's even Egypt up here. That's pretty cool. I like the postcard tour room. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for exploring with me, going to Jazz Kitchen. It was really good, and I had a good time with you. So if you can uh, do me a favor and leave some comments down below, what are some things that you like to do in downtown Disney? Tell me about them and we can talk and I'd love to hear it. So uh, yeah, leave me a like and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.